hello guys welcome back to the channel mr rogers here and today we're going to talk about the common mistake that gamers do and how to avoid them the common mistake that we do and how to avoid them so now the first common mistake that i've realized is that we don't choose our favorite teams when playing competitive games all right we don't choose our favorite team when playing competitive games so we don't play with our normal teams or formations that we have chemistry with all right look at text the best fifa player in the world and he always uses this 442 formation regardless it depends maybe maybe fut drafts that gives you formation that doesn't have 442 but usually when he is um, setting his formation choosing the formation he chooses the 442 formation which is brilliant for him yes so that's the first mistake that we do have to choose our favorite teams and favorite formations all right yes so now the second one we tend to overuse our favorite player that makes it hard to create chances with other teammates do you understand sometimes um one of our players like maybe messi our best player or our favorite player is messi and we try to use only Messi to score you understand maybe another player will be in a better position to score but we still want to pass it through messi pass it to messi to score and that uh, causes us to lose chances you understand because fifa chances are really important you have to take your chances all right so that's the second mistake now the next one is that you don't check your controller settings before the game sometimes you remember it the hard way sometimes after playing some game remember no, no, no i'm not playing tactical defense i'm playing legacy then you see you, I, you have made a mistake or sometimes you, you realize that even the karma setting is not right you understand yes so sometimes i have to check all these formations before you get into a game all right yes the next one is that when you score three goals in the first half you tend to relax in the second half when the opponent gets like two goals back then his players are kind of i don't know whether is the is the game a glitch or scripting or whatever in the game or is the fear or the pressure on you that makes him be able to sometimes equalize and win the game and score and get more goals or another goal to win the game i don't know what whether it's the game or from us because sometimes you know that you have scored three goals in first half now the second half the opponent to get two back then your your players will seem weak do you understand i know you have realized this too your players will feel weak and sometimes uh if you don't take care then he will equalize then score winning goals then he wins the match so what you have to do is score more goals in first half if you can if you are able to score like three goals score more right so that it discourages them to restart the match all right so if you have made it to this far please remember to subscribe if you haven't remember to leave a thumbs up a like for me also if you have realized a mistake in the game that you want to share please us know in the comments thank you so much now let's continue so the next mistake that we do is that we don't re uh, remember to clear our mind all right you have to clear your mind before playing a game you understand so we tend to give up early when we can see more goals but we shouldn't because one as i said earlier when an opponent's opponents call you three goals in the first half and you can get two back in the second half your players are overpowered if you realize that let me know in the comments if you realize that too your players or his players depending on who scored in the first half gets like some upper hand on the game they, their players become overpowered and you up you, you that you are leading become weak so weak so if you don't take care then he will get the equalizing goal then continue to uh, go ahead and win the match do you understand what i'm trying to say all right so if you agree with me let me know in the comments let me know whether you have realized this too all right so the next one have you realized too that when whether it is kickoff or half time when the whistle is blown you can immediately run through the opponent's defense and score do you understand so first of all this one is a win uh, how do i say it um this one can go against you or go for you 
right so you can take this as an advantage if you realize the guy i think it started for me for 22 for 20 was like that for 21 is two i think the same thing when you kick off you that you are holding the ball or the ball is with you you can just run to the opponent defense carefully and go and score so when even when you concede you can just uh go and uh, cancel the goal out by scoring do you understand what i'm trying to say or when someone is kicking off be very alert all right when the the referee uh, blows the whistle to kick off or to start the match be very alert otherwise the opponent can just run through your defense do you get what i'm trying to say in fifa 21 stand tackles are underrated very underrated but sliding tackles are very overrated especially outside the box i think inside the box stand tackles you touch the opponent even after the opponent kicking the ball to miss the chance now they will give the opponent a penalty kick or something so stand tackles are very over uh underrated so always try to slide tackle instead try to slide tackle instead of stand tackle if you have if you know about this to let me know in the comment because i've realized that i think from fifa 20 for 21 fifa 21 is more in it all right so our last one but not the least always try not to be hungry or go on entry stomach when playing all right when for me personally i don't know for other people but personally i don't feel hungry when playing fifa i feel hungry when playing other games but uh in fifa too when i've been hungry for a long time when i'm playing FIFA, i tend to be dull i tend not to be enthusiastic or something so um, uh, i tend not to be enthused so it gives me like uh, less morale or something yeah so because of that i lose or gives off uh, chances and don't defend properly so that is it thank you for watching the video to this end if you made it to the end of this video remember to give me a thumbs up and just comment what you think of the video and remember to subscribe if you haven't see you in the next video enjoy the game bye bye